Hey everyone, and now let's talk about the Google Maps and more specifically how you can add one more stop whenever you uh, decide to do some kind of direction or navigation. So let me just open up Google Maps and let's say that I want to travel from this area till here. So you can see that the starting point is this town and the ending point or my destination is Berlin. You can of course, for example, just change it up where you begin the route and end it. It doesn't really matter, but in order to add the stop, it's very simple because you can tap on the three dots in here, which is like more options. And here's the option to add stop you have multiple of them so send a reminder to leave share your directions or other options but if you add the stop in here you can see the beginning point a and b so here in on the right side you have the thing where you can like move it around so berlin let's make it the last destination but let's also choose that one stop along the way it's going to be prague so you can see that i need to take this route instead so i stop by in prague and that way i get to berlin and you can see that one more stop just emerged so i can add some something behind berlin even so you can see that I'm going to go to Denmark. So this is my complete route. It's a long one, I know, but this is how it is. Now, if I just change up the order, so for example, at first I want to go to Berlin and then to Prague. I mean, it's just, of course, going to mess up the thing completely because it doesn't really make sense to go like in circles and stuff. But this is how you can add stops and organize them in your Google Maps. So right now you can see it takes 19 hours to actually get to my destination through all the stops. But yeah, this is just how it works. Just add the stop. It doesn't have to be an actual city. You can just choose some kind of uh, restaurant or whatever you want to do along the way. Just make sure to click it there to make it a, your stop between the starting point and your destination. This is, of course, a very simple way to achieve this. And you also have like other options. If you click on it, you can, for example, avoid some ferries or tolls, or you can choose your engine type, or for example, choose a the route to be like preferably the one which is efficient for your fuel so it's you're gonna save gas and stuff you can choose if your car is electric perhaps it's gonna do some different stuff i don't know perhaps it's just gonna like uh, calculate it differently it's a different thing perhaps it may include uh, some charging points if you have an electric car so that's definitely something to keep in mind as well but using this google maps navigation is very intuitive and you can do it quickly and change up the uh, stops and uh, the way to get to your destination easily so that would be about it make sure to check out another video about maps and subscribe to Foxtag YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for watching and see each other in the future.